Hello, Con. Wow, Freddie, I love the accent and uh, congratulations on this new role. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, the British, uh, the British accent is back as opposed to the American one for Bates Motel. So are you calling Atlanta? Oh, no, sorry, Atlanta, that's where I am. Are you calling L.A. home now? No, no, uh, England, London is, is still home, yeah. <laughs> Hence the accent that hasn't been lost. Well, I thought maybe with the filming, where is A&E filming the Bates Motel? Bates Motel is, uh, is filmed out in Vancouver. So, um, so yeah, we've, we, we kind of spent three or, three or four months there in, in towards the end of, of last year and early this year finishing things off. So it's quite the international affair. Uh, <laughs> what, you've taken, you know, from Neverland to Charlie uh, in the Chocolate Factory, some really cool roles, epic roles. But what about this? This is kind of your first taste into the drama and uh, the adultness of the Bates Motel. Yeah, no, I'm lucky, aren't I? I've always been, uh, well, getting to play Norman, Norman Bates isn't, isn't such a bad gig. I've always been, uh, yeah, always been lucky to, to kind of play different characters and, and never get stuck doing the same thing. And, um, and yeah, Norman, Norman Bates is fantastic. That, that darker side uh, of, 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 yeah, I mean, basically, we just, we just want to find out what made Norman Bates psycho. Well, you have had such a happy life living in London, and your your mom uh, is in the industry. Your dad. It's been a great life. How do you get into the dark side of Norman Bates? <laughs> well, I think it comes down to that um, to that argument of of nature versus nurture. You know, is it is there something explicitly wrong with him internally or or mentally, or is it down to the circumstances? You know, and I, I guess you put yourself in that situation and think, oh, would I be slightly different if I had a overbearing mother or um or you know have, have moved to this this dodgy new town where uh, where dark things are going on so uh so yeah i guess you you always put yourself in the in the situation of the character and and see where that takes you so are you in the camp of nature or nurture because you're a smart man you went to cambridge <laughs> yes no i guess uh, i guess i've had a i've had a good a good life good uh, good nurture up till now <laughs> all right that is true uh, tell us a little bit about the, the series itself. It's going to appear on A&E. Uh, you know, we're used to it as a movie, but tell us a little bit about the dynamics of this new series. Yeah, well, yeah, as I said, we, we're trying to find out what made Norman Bates psycho. So we go back to uh, uh, a time when his mother's still alive, um, and the show focuses on their relationship with each other, this, this intimate, weird relationship, and also their relationships with others in this in this new town that they've moved to, having just bought what will become the Bates Motel. Now, let me ask you, is Norman Bates English in the uh, series? No, no, he's American. <laughs> <laughs> so can you give us a little bit of his voice? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess you'll have to see on, uh, see on oh, Monday no. how the, uh, how gonna, the voice... I wanted to watch you go from English <laughs> accent to, I guess... American <laughs> to the American one. No, I try and I try and speak in the American accent as much as possible throughout um, throughout filming, so it, so it does become second nature. But I find myself on occasion picking up American phrases into my speech, like "awesome," which we never say in Britain. So uh, so yeah, I try and reassert my Britishness at times with the American accent by saying, "Oh, that's amazingly." brilliant or something like that which, oh, yeah, which a little combination there. <laughs> so so people know that i'm british yeah now let me ask you of all this greatness that you possess in acting and so forth you spent time in cambridge learning arabic why yeah i've always enjoyed uh i always enjoyed languages i did french and, and spanish at school and figured you know there's uh it's a fantastic opportunity at university to learn something that, that you'll never get another chance to do. So, um, so that's why I went to, yeah, to continue with the Spanish and, and start up Arabic. <laughs> As we wrap things up, given your tremendous success, Freddie, what advice would you give others pursuing their dreams? Well, I think you, um, yeah, you've got to, you, you have to go for it. And whilst recognizing that there's a lot of, uh, a lot of luck involved. So, um, so yeah, I think if you're growing up, I mean, I've been, I've been, uh, you know, fortunate to be able to combine both my studies and acting up to now, and so I think that's the kind of best case scenario if you're if you're lucky enough to be able to do that. Well, you've done it well. We'll get to enjoy it. The uh, Bates Motel and Cheerio for now. See you. Look who's here, but Rachel D'Alto, the flirt expert. How you doing? I'm good. How are Things you? Things are hot, sizzling hot. We have the hottest question either of us has ever answered on our website at conjackson.com. It's about relationships, 
and it's something you need to know. Absolutely. So click, go check it out.